So maybe you're a beginner who wants to learn how to dance this year, but where do you start? Um, and of course you can learn any dance style you want. I myself learned over 10 of them and professionally I taught three. So I can tell you both from the perspective of the student and the teacher. If you're just starting out and you want to feel comfortable, especially dancing when you go out, the best place to start is club dance or party dance. Let's look at the impact on your social life first, right? So many styles are super fun to do. I learned anything from ballroom to belly dance, from ballet to hip hop. And all of these styles are fun to do, especially if you like doing them while you're in class. They make you feel good while you're in class. But club dance and party dancing will also make you feel good when you're out and about at a party because you're not going to be doing belly dance isolations or like ballet positions um, on the dance floor in front of other people, right? Those styles are only applicable while you're in class. Casually dancing at a party, wedding, bar, you know, just uh, outing with your friends, that requires us to know a specific style, which is club dance or party dance. So for example, when I was learning, I liked belly dancing because I wanted to dance like Shakira. <laughs> She's amazing. But I knew that um, I would only be able to do that style of dance while I'm in class and also when I'm practicing at home. But where else? I wouldn't really do that on the dance floor because no one is doing like specific a specific style like that. And it also requires specific kind of music too. Another thing to look at is complexity level. So party dancing is relatively simpler than many other styles out there. For example, um, you don't have to know um, very intricate footwork patterns or movement patterns or even rhythmic patterns. It's way easier than, for example, some Latin styles, where if you go to a salsa class, you already should have rhythm, you already should be coordinated, you should have that body control, so you can quickly follow what's going on. And if you don't have the fundamental skills like that, and you go to class, most often you will feel lost. And maybe you've already experienced that, let me know in the comments. I know that I tried salsa when I already was a professional dancer in a different style. I had around seven years of experience, I went to a salsa class and I was totally lost. Even though I had the foundation, I had rhythm coordination and all of that. It's because it's so much more complex, even beginner level salsa, very difficult. How you can test it is actually if you follow my tutorials, especially like my follow along tutorials where I just dance and I don't explain what we're doing. If you can follow all those moves, if you can move different body parts easily, if you can quickly switch from step to step and you're able to do all of them like for an entire song, that means the coordination is there, rhythm is there, so you probably will be fine when you go to class. So that's like a good way to check. But if you're feeling lost, if you can't even stay on beat, mind you, salsa songs are way faster than the songs I'm using. And you have to accent way more beats than just two that we usually accent when it comes to party dancing or club dancing. I think there's like eight beats you have to always hit. Another difference is that when you just freestyle party dance at a party, you don't have to move the feet all the time. A lot of the club dance party dance moves don't require footwork. You can start with the knees or just move the hips to stay in place, you groove in place. In salsa, it's all footwork. You always have to move the feet. Not only that, but the knees, the hips, the arms. So that's why that coordination is crucial. And I'll just mention if you want to be prepared for party dancing, freestyle dancing to like top 40 music, be sure to watch my free masterclass. It's a free training that I made just for you. And you can access it at, at a link below. I included there everything you need to be able to dance successfully every single time you go out, even when you're starting from absolute zero, no skills, no rhythm, no confidence. So be sure to check it out. Another thing you want to look at when choosing a dance style to learn is longevity, right? So if we go to, let's say, a hip hop class or choreography class, any choreography class, you will be learning how to dance to trendy songs using trendy movements, but they will go out of style. Like nobody's doing Soldier Boy anymore, right? Or anything else. <laughs> I literally forget those trendy dances like a week later. But when it comes to party dancing, that's universal. Those movements will never go out of style and I can tell you myself, I was a party animal 20 years ago. I would be out every single week, sometimes twice a week. And I can tell you that now when I go out, the moves didn't change. Like everyone still wants to look relaxed, groove to the music, move the body well. The movements are, you know, natural. They are not 
exaggerated force. They're not meant to bring attention to you. They are not trendy. So that means if you learn how to dance at parties, if you learn that style, you will use that for the rest of your life. Another great thing about party dance or club dance is that you can do it solo, but you can also do it with a partner. You can dance uh, facing someone. Now, if you take, for example, swing lessons and you get really good at swing dancing, and then uh, you want to dance with a partner, they will only be able to dance with you if they took those classes with you, because to dance swing, you have to have specific um, movement patterns, you have to know the transitions, the positions of the body, all of that. So if you're dancing with a person who never done that type of dancing before, they will be stuck. They won't know how to move, right? When it comes to freestyle dancing and party dancing, the movements are not very specific. So you can do one thing, your partner can do something else. You're not really holding hands and you're not directing the partner and the partner is tripping over the feet. You are doing your own thing, yet it looks in sync because you're following the same rhythmic pattern, the movements are similar, you're grooving together, you're responding to each other. It's freestyle, right? So it's spontaneous. There are no specific like movement patterns or transitions that you have to know. Personally, I can also tell you that even though I taught other styles before, this is my favorite style to teach because I see how it changes people's lives. Like people who are never able to socialize with others and connect with others on the dance floor suddenly are able to go out. They are able to dance with their friends, with their loved ones, and they don't feel self-conscious anymore not just in a dance class or like a dance practice situation, but actually in like real life situations when they go out. So definitely my favorite, favorite style to teach. And if you want to learn more about how to be able to dance in social settings, um, you can first of all, check out my free masterclass, free training, super helpful, everything you need to be able to become that confident dancer. And if you don't want to learn by yourself, again, I help clients all over the world on all seven continents, be able to dance in social settings um, in my online program. So if you're interested to get more information, to see if you're a fit to work together, book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me at the link below and we'll get you dancing. And if you want to try other styles, absolutely do it. Like I said, I've done a lot of them um, and they're all fun. And let me know in the comments if you took, you know, salsa, swing or any choreography lessons, if what I was saying kind of rang a bell and if that was true for you. Were you lost in a salsa class? Were you able to dance with a partner? Let me know in the comments, I'm very curious. And that's it from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in my next video. Bye.